Last time, we had a look at the properties of quadrilaterals in relation to the sides and angles of those quadrilaterals. You might want to just pause the video here just to review these properties and have a read of what all the different kinds of quadrilaterals are and what kind of properties they have for angles and sides. Today we're going to be looking at further properties of quadrilaterals, but this time in relation to the diagonals of the quadrilaterals. So the diagonal of a quadrilateral is a quadra is the line that goes from one corner to the opposite corner. One corner to the opposite corner. A corner to the opposite corner, a corner to the opposite corner. That's your diagonal. The diagonals of a trapezium and a general quadrilateral are not really interesting to us, so we're going to just ignore them. However, the rest all have some very interesting properties. So let's have a look at those properties. These are just summarized here. If you have a kite and you take the, the, the diagonals of a kite, they cross each other at 90 degrees. So they cross each other at 90 degrees. And this diagonal bisects this diagonal. Now let me just write that word down because it's going to come up a lot. When we talk about something bisecting, we are meaning that it is cuts it in half. In other words, this diagonal cuts this diagonal in half, so this bit and this bit are equal to each other. The diagonal, this also, this diagonal here, right, bisects the angles, this angle and this angle. In other words, this little red bit and this red bit are equal. This little blue angle and this little blue angle are equal. So this diagonal that comes all the way down the middle of the kite bisects the other diagonal and bisects the angles. OK, that's the kite. Trapezium, as I said, nothing interesting. Parallelogram, well, we've got all these different kinds of parallelograms here. So let's observe the parallelograms first. The very first one is your most simple form of parallelogram, right? Where you've just got both pairs of opposite sides parallel. The diagonals here actually bisect each other. In other words, this one cuts this one in half, so this bit and this bit are equal. And this one cuts this one in half, so this and this are equal. So the diagonals bisect each other. Both diagonals bisect each other. And you're going to see, right, because all of these are also parallelograms, just special types of parallelograms, obviously the diagonals of these also bisect each other. So you always are going to get the diagonals cutting each other in half. Okay, nothing special around the angles or anything there. What happens now when you get to the special type of parallelogram that's a rectangle that has 90 degrees here is what happens here is the diagonals are actually equal to each other. So this diagonal and this diagonal are equal in length. And because the diagonals are equal in length, all the little half bits are obviously equal in length too. Now, because a square is a special kind of rectangle, obviously the same is also going to be true. The diagonals of a square are equal to each other, and so all these little half bits are equal to each other, too. Okay, what about a rhombus? Well, a rhombus, as we know, diagonals bisect each other, but the diagonals here are not actually equal to each other. The other thing that happens with a rhombus is that the diagonals bisect the angles, and the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. And this will also be true for the square, because a square is a special kind of rhombus. And so the diagonals of a square cut at 90, and it cuts 
any of these things in half, any of these angles in half. So in fact, each of these little angles here, we know is going to be 45 degrees. Let's summarize this now. I want you to open your homework booklets and um, summarize the information around the different quadrilaterals that we have. You'll just have to add in two more lines into your um, key concepts booklet. Pause the video now and do this. Okay, let's go through it quickly. The diagonals bisect each other. That is true for the parallelogram, and so if it's true for that, it's also true for these special parallelograms, and not true for the trapezium. And for the kite, it's only one, right? Remember, with the kite, it was just the one that gets bisected. Uh, the diagonals are equal. This only happens when you've got your 90 degrees, so that's in your rectangle and your square that the uh, diagonals are equal. And um, the diagonals bisecting the angles at the vertices, that only happens when you've got equal sides, so that happens for your square and your rhombus. And then also remember for your kite, it happened, you know, that we had these two here were equal and those two there were equal. So there is a sort of a thing about it here, but it's not for, it doesn't hold for these other angles in the kite. All right, the diagonals crossing at 90 degrees, there the kite was a special case where that happened. And of course, the other one was, other ones were the square and the rhombus where things were all equal. Okay, so they can give us an example where they ask us then to find things. So like, for example, if they tell us here, A, B, C, D is a, a rhombus, and they tell us that this angle here is 50, that E, B is three centimeters, and they want us to work out these various things. So the first thing they want us to work out is angle AEB. So that's AEB. Well, that's the angle where the two diagonals intersect. And we know that when we're in a rhombus, they intersect at right angles. So obviously that is 90 degrees. So I'm just going to put that piece of information in on my diagram. All right, what about A1? Now, A1 refers to A1, this, this little part of the picture here this angle and um, now we know that we're in a rhombus so the diagonals bisect these angles at the vertices so these two things are equal so very easily a1 is 50. okay what about b1 so we're talking about this angle here well we're in this little triangle can you see it so these things must all add up to 180 50 plus 90 plus this must be 180 so b1 must be 40 because 40 and 50 make 90 plus 90 make 180. Then B2 is easy. That's going to be 40 because when we're in a rhombus, the diagonals bisect the angles of the vertices. So these two things are equal. And then ED, well, we know in any parallelogram, so in a rhombus, the diagonals bisect each other. So this thing, ED, will be 3 centimetres.